see how we have calculated frequency nu is equal to v upon 2 L and that is actually the frequency in a stretched string here and for the first normal mode of vibration here. So, velocity we know it is here, velocity is equal to under root of t upon m, velocity of transverse wave in a stretched string where t is tension, m is mass per unit length. So, we can write frequency is equal to 1 upon 2 L under root of t upon m. First one we can write here frequency is inversely proportional to length, this is called here actually law of length. Now, basically the factors on which frequency depends. Second one is also we can write frequency is directly proportional to under root of t that is tension. It is also called here the law of tension. Third one also we can write here frequency is inversely proportional to one uh, under root of m that is a mass per unit length. So, here it is called law of mass. So, we can also solve here the mass, mass per unit length can be written here m is equal to pi d square upon 4 that is area of cross section into unit length into density. So, this formula we can modify by using this by putting the value of m also here and we will be getting in that case v nu is equal uh, this is v is equal to here. So, nu is equal to 1 upon l under root of 1 upon 2 L under root of T upon M and we will be getting nu is equal to 1 upon 2 L under root of T upon pi D square here 4 into density. 4 will be coming outside, 2 will get cancelled. So, nu is equal to 1 upon L and that is here into D diameter upon here under root of T by pi rho. So, we can also write here frequency is inversely proportional to diameter of the wire or the string and also here inversely proportional to under root of the density of the wire here. So, these are the different factors on which the frequency of the transverse wave in a stretch string depends. Now, see standing waves in closed organ pipes. Now, see a closed organ pipes are the actually musical instruments in which musical sound is produced by blowing air into it. So, it is like this is here. Suppose you have taken in this way here, one end is closed, when the air is blown from this side, compressions and rarefactions are formed and the longitudinal waves travels in this direction. These longitudinal waves are reflected from here and they are reflected from the rigid support. So, obviously, there is a phase reversal and that is a reflected wave. So, this incident wave and reflected wave both super, superimpose on each other and they form here a stationary wave. This type of the instrument you use in lab for getting the speed of sound that is called resonance tube. In that case what happen you get like this tube and here you fill up the water and the waves are set up from here and these waves come here and strike at the water surface and gets reflected and superimposition takes place and because of that also here the resonance condition occurs. And now, here we have to get the condition for the formation of nodes and anti nodes in case of the closed organ pipes. So, condition is the same like a stretch string. So, the equation for a standing waves we can write here minus 2 a sin k x cos omega t. So, this is here the equation for standing wave. If you are taking suppose this is a closed organ pipe and this is x equal to 0. So, if you are taking x is equal to 0, I have taken this rigid end as x equal to 0, then the y is equal to 0. It means at this point node is formed and for this condition can be here for sin k x is equal to 0 is equal to sin n pi, where n is equal to you can write 0, 1, 2, 3 like this and you can get k x is equal to n pi that is 2 pi upon lambda x is equal to n pi, pi pi will get cancelled and x is equal to n lambda by 2. So, this is here the position for the nodes. But see here at another end here that is at the open end. 
but see here at this end there is a largest change in the pressure and the displacement will be 0, but at the open end here there is the least change in the pressure and displacement will be maximum as a result anti node is formed here. So, anti node is formed at the open end suppose the length of this tube is L. So, we can write y is maximum when sin k x is equal to maximum that is plus minus 1, we can write sin k l is equal to sin here 2 n minus 1 into here pi upon 2, where we can take n is equal to 1, 2, 3 like this. So, we can write here k l is equal to 2 n minus 1 into pi upon 2. We can solve it further here. So, when we solve in this case, we will be getting 2 pi upon lambda into L is equal to 2 n minus 1 into pi upon 2, this pi pi will get cancelled. So, we can get L is equal to 2 n minus 1 into lambda divided by 4. So, this is the condition for here anti node here formation of the anti node. Suppose you are taking in this case for the first normal mode of vibration n is equal to 1. So, we can write L is equal to 2 minus 2 into 1 minus 1 into lambda 1 by 4 that means here lambda 1 by 4. So, if you have taken this tube like this closed organ pipe and the length is L, then you will be getting in this case here, wave is formed in this form here. This point is here the node and this point is here anti node here and this whole thing is equal to here lambda 1 by 4. Now, you can calculate frequency of this also. When you are going to calculate frequency, you will be getting here frequency is equal to here velocity upon wavelength. So, we can write nu 1 is equal to v upon lambda 1 and that is here v upon 4 L. So, this is the minimum frequency here obtained in this and this frequency is known as fundamental frequency and the sound produced is known as fundamental note or we can say here the first harmonic. Suppose, if you are taking n is equal to 2 that is second normal mode of vibrations. So, if you have taken n equal to 2 and put the value of n over here, you will be getting L is equal to 4 minus 1 lambda 2 by 4 and that is 4 L by 3. So, here you will be getting lambda 2 is equal to 4 L upon 3. It means this whole length is here L and now the wavelength which is formed here that is 4 L by 3 here. So, in this case, the wavelength is formed here in this way, where two nodes are formed and two anti nodes are formed. And in this case frequency is equal to v upon lambda 2 that is 3 v upon 4 L and that is thrice of the new one that is the thrice of the fundamental frequency and this is also called third harmonic. And in this case you will be getting here the ratio of this new one is to new 2 is equal to here like 1 is to 3 is to 5 for the rest 1. So, here alternate frequencies are missing in this case. So, it does not produce rich sound. 